Electric bikes are a very common mode of transportation all over the world now, and there's no doubt about their rise. However, something else has been rising alongside them, and it's not a good trend at all. Fire departments across multiple regions have reported that fires linked to e-bikes and lithium-ion batteries have surged by almost 93% between 2022 and 2024. Some areas recorded around 362 e-bike-related fires in 2024, compared to just 181 in 2022. To make things even more concerning, nearly half of these fires involved bikes that were converted using aftermarket kits, rather than professionally manufactured e-bikes. These numbers may not seem massive compared to the millions of e-bikes on the road, yet they show how fast this issue is growing and how dangerous it can be, especially because most fires happen indoors, where people least expect them. That's why today, we're going to talk about why e-bikes catch fire more than you think and, of course, how riders can stay safe. To understand why e-bikes catch fire, we need to look at what powers them, the lithium-ion battery. These batteries are popular because they store a lot of energy in a small package, but that's also what makes them risky. Inside each battery are small cells filled with chemicals that react to produce electricity. Under normal conditions, everything stays balanced and safe. But if the battery gets damaged, overheated, poorly charged, or made with low-quality materials, that balance can break. When that happens, the battery can enter a potentially hazardous process known as thermal runaway. This is when one cell overheats and releases flammable gases, which then cause nearby cells to heat up and ignite. Since e-bike batteries contain many cells tightly packed together, the fire spreads extremely fast once thermal runaway begins. This is why e-bike fires are known for being intense, difficult to extinguish, and sometimes explosive. Although thermal runaway is a chemical reaction, the triggers often come from practical, everyday situations. One major issue is the growing number of DIY conversions. Many riders buy cheap kits online and turn regular bicycles into e-bikes to save money. However, these kits often come with batteries and chargers that don't meet proper safety standards. Fire departments have reported that nearly half of all e-bike fires they respond to involve these cheaper, modified bikes. The second big problem is poorly made or uncertified batteries and chargers. When someone uses a charger that doesn't match the battery's voltage or current needs, it puts unnecessary stress on the cells. Sometimes this leads to the battery getting warm or swelling, and sometimes it looks perfectly fine on the outside but gets weaker internally until it finally fails while charging. Another common trigger is overheating, leaving a bike in the sun for too long, storing it in a hot room, or riding it aggressively without giving it time to cool down can all weaken the battery's internal structure. Even small accidents like dropping the bike or hitting a pothole can cause hidden damage inside the battery cells. The outside might look completely normal, but inside, the separator that keeps chemicals apart might be torn. Hours or even days later, that hidden damage can suddenly trigger a fire. On top of this, many riders charge their e-bikes in ways that increase the risk without realizing it. Charging overnight, charging inside cramped rooms, or charging near flammable materials can turn a small battery failure into a dangerous house fire. The reason e-bike fires are becoming more common isn't just because more people are buying them. The real issue is that not all e-bikes and batteries are made with the same quality standards. As the popularity of e-bikes grows, so does the market for cheaper alternatives. Many of these low-cost products skip important safety features and quality control steps. This makes them far more vulnerable to overheating, overcharging, or short-circuiting. At the same time, more people are buying conversion kits, second-hand batteries, and no-name chargers, all of which increase the risk of fires. Fire incidents also tend to happen in high-density cities where people store and charge their bikes inside apartments or narrow corridors. When a lithium-ion battery fails in such a confined space, the damage can be severe and sometimes even fatal. So the rise in numbers is not random. It's tied directly to how these products are used, stored, and manufactured. 
Even though e-bike fires sound intimidating, the good news is that most of them can be prevented with some simple habits and awareness. The first step is choosing a well-made e-bike from a trusted manufacturer instead of going for a cheap or modified option. Certified batteries are designed with multiple layers of protection to reduce overheating and prevent short circuits. Using only the charger that comes with the bike, or a manufacturer-approved one, is also extremely important because mismatched chargers can send the wrong amount of power into the battery. Charging habits matter a lot as well. It's safer to charge the battery in a well-ventilated area, on a non-flammable surface, and during the daytime when you're awake and can keep an eye on it. Storing the bike away from extreme heat and avoiding long charging sessions also helps. Regularly checking the battery for signs of swelling, heat, strange smells, or unusual noises can prevent bigger problems later. And if a battery gets damaged in any way, even if the outside looks fine, it's always better to have it inspected instead of continuing to use it. Avoiding DIY conversions, questionable second-hand kits, or cheap replacement parts is also essential, because these are the products most commonly linked to fire incidents. E-bikes are a brilliant invention, and there's no doubt they make commuting easier, healthier, and more eco-friendly. But as the recent rise in fire incidents shows, their batteries need to be treated with care. The fires we hear about aren't caused by random bad luck. They're usually the result of low-quality parts, poor charging habits, hidden damage, or unsafe storage. When you understand how these fires start and what triggers them, you're already better prepared to avoid them. The rest comes down to responsible habits like choosing quality equipment, storing your bike safely, charging it properly, and paying attention to small warning signs. With the right care, e-bikes remain safe, convenient, and trustworthy, allowing you to enjoy all the benefits they offer without worrying about unpredictable battery failures. In the end, it's all about respecting the power stored inside that battery, because when you handle it wisely, it rewards you with smooth, reliable, and worry-free rides every day.